Dear Mother, it's June of 1993. You are 30, and I am 30. You in years on this earth, and I in weeks inside of you. An amniotic ocean connects us now, body and soul. But you and I both know that even after this great ocean empties, and I finally leave the buoyancy of your body, the umbilical cord of adoption will always keep us tethered. For the past 30 days, you have sheltered here in the ocean heart of the Philippines, in this orphanage for pregnant and unwed mothers. And in 30 minutes, the dinner bell will chime and you will shuffle the 30 paces to the long table where the other women will also take their seats and eat their seyote and rub their swollen bellies. But all it takes is 30 seconds, 30 of the quickest heartbeats, for you to remember that we are temporary guests, you and I, in these, the shelters we have chosen. Circumstance has made us refugees. You from the world outside this orphanage, me from the world outside your body. What a pair we make, a widow and an orphan, a duet of famished waiting. But mother, I wanna go back to that time, back to the heat of a Filipino afternoon, back to the heat of your swollen belly when you forgot you were 30 and I forgot I was 30 and we didn't wait for the faint hum of the dinner bell. We just sat there in the hungry sun in the ocean heart of the Philippines and you ate enough sayote for the both of us. Dear mother, it's April of 2023 and now it is I who am nearly 30 in years on this earth. And though I still have no memory of your bronze face or your ocean voice, I have spent a lifetime building a refuge just for you in the shelter of my mind. So come to this refuge, mother, this paradise I built for you. Come and sit for the first time, perhaps. Do you know rest? Have your feet ever tasted stillness? Or have you forgotten that you have always been both the storm and the shelter, both the ocean and the shore? They say a mother's work is never done, and you are a mother to so many. But who will pick up your pieces? Who will sift through the rubble of your body when the storm within you passes and the winds finally die down? Come, sit, this refuge is for you. Can you see it? It is a lush banana grove birthed by mother nature herself, a leafy womb for women spun in her image. Let the fronds unfurl themselves before you. Let the wet clay cradle your tired feet. Build for yourself a new home in this prayer, in this paradise. You don't have to stay. I know there are mouths far hungrier than mine who still need the storm and the shelter of your body. But if you can, rest for a moment, a heartbeat, an afternoon. You deserve at least that. Maybe I'll meet you there someday, in the grove, in a home you've built just for yourself. It would smell of seote and sea salt and as I approach, you would be sitting there at your long table, no longer famished, a smile blooming between your cheeks. The widow who became a mother finally, reuni finally reunited with the orphan who became a son.